Hello crafties, this is Sandra from wallifier.com and Whimsy Dreams. And I create small batch graphics so you can keep your designs unique. And another thing is that I'm super in love with Canva. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a super adorable folded card using just Canva and clip art graphics. So let's get started. We start out by creating a template design for our folded card. And this is a great thing because you'll be able to use this template over and over again. So we just do this work once. Great news, yay! <laughs> so we go to create a design and custom dimensions. As I am going to create a template that is for a folded card in the size 5 times 7 I am going to create a document that is 10 by 7, like this. And let's collapse this. I go up to Files and Show Print Bleed. As I am going to uh, apply a background to this design, it's important that you use this uh, bleed here as we are going to crop this when printed to to remove smeary edges from the printing <laughs> so uh, let's get started with the template itself we go to elements and grids here we are uh, doing a front of the card and a back of the card and to make this process very easy we are going to do two elements one background element and one front element you will understand in just a minute and i take this one and drag it in until i see this center line appears then i drop it like this and I just color it with a simple color to make things easy. While I have this highlighted, I go to this duplicate option here and duplicate this uh, back side or back of the card. And then I place this one as the front. Now I'm sure this is the back of the card, so to speak, where we are going to fold this card. And this is an important thing. Uh, you, it's very easy to move these elements, uh, your grid, so to speak, or your template here in the background, if you don't lock them. So highlight them both by holding the shift key. Now you see both are highlighted and then you go to this lock icon here and press lock. Now you're not able to move anything. Uh, when we apply the clip part, we will be really happy we did this. And we are also going to add a little space holder for the clip art frame that we are going to use for this design. So just drag this grid into the card and make it a little bit smaller like this. And we place it in the middle of the design, like this. And the next step is to go to Uploads and upload your uh, frame that you want to use for your design. I uploaded three uh, frames here from the Dreamy Meadow, which is part of the new collection wildflower collection so this is limited edition frames so they are only available for a short period of time so anyway you find a link below in the description if you like them and want to snatch them these frames are perfect for card making and you know labels and stuff so i really love these frames for this design I'm going to choose the oval one because I like the vintage style of it. But of course, you can choose whichever frame you want and whichever shape you want. So let's move it into the space holder. Just drag and drop and adjust it so it fits, you know, center. And like this, it's perfect. And now I go 
again up to the lock here. The lock is a really, really important tool while making car designs. As we're doing layers of elements on top of each other, it can be super frustrating if we start to move the underlying layers. So always remember to go up and lock your frames or clip art elements. Now let's collapse this menu. And now we're going to add some text. You can create your own text design by just dragging text elements into this frame, of course. But if you are not certain or you feel unsure about font combinations and font design overall, you can always choose the pre-made uh, templates that you find here in Canva. There are free versions and there are for pro versions as well. Let's see here if I find some beautiful this I really love so I drag it into the design like this and I make it fit the frame like this and as always I go to my favorite brown color here I have the pro version of Canva so if you don't have the pro version, you will not have these pre-selected or your favorite colors like this. Then you have to go up here to the new color and add your um, color here. Uh, you find the hex code, this code that you will uh, import in this little space here in the description. So just go there and copy and paste it and you find this, uh, my favorite brown color. So. No problems there. Now let's uh, uh, create a beautiful quote because we don't want to have this <laughs> finally found my new home, you know, for my friend's birthday, I, you know. Let's get creative. Now we just add our quote here into the frame and to the, into the design like this. I zoomed in, you can use the zoom tool down here, or you can use, you can hold the shift keys or M plus or minus. So triple click into the block of text you want to change today is your day. If you find that your text uh, is too, you know, too large or too long or something that it turns ugly like this, no, no worries there. Just go to ungroup, then all the elements of this uh, text design will be um, split. So now you can go in into this and stretch it a little bit if you want to and shrink it a little bit so it fits you know inside here like this let's see like that now you see here now it's good that the back you know the elements in the back are locked as you see and then you just move this one here this is your day like this and triple click in inside this one two three And when you think your text looks okay, you know, then you just do it all over again. You highlight all the text elements while holding the shift key and go to group. Now you can center it again. Today is your day. Dance with fairies, ride with unicorns, swim with mermaids and chase rainbows. Happy birthday. And if you want to change the background color it's super easy to do you just highlight it here and 
you have to unlock it and go to, you know, you can choose green or something like this, or you can go to photos and choose a picture, maybe this one, move it into the background like this. You see, you can create so many beautiful things. I will stay with a single colored uh, monochrome background like this. And remember to lock it into place. When you are finished with your design, you go to this arrow here. You choose PDF print and you choose crop marks and lead and download. Now you can print your design. Maybe your uh, computer looks a little bit different than mine, but you know, all computers look different, but you know, you get it. When you've done it once, you know what to do. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you create something really beautiful. And please post your designs in the community. We love to see them. You find a link to the community in the description below. If you want to learn more about Canva, I have this online class and you find the link also below in the description. If you like this video and find it helpful or inspiring, please hit subscribe and a thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you all and see you soon. Bye bye.